So in this video, I will show you how what are the tools that we will need to do our project. So we'll go here. As you can see here in our project, we will need to use Python with some libraries. Then what I want to say, maybe there is some of you that have already used Python or have uh, heard about it or something like that. But maybe there is some of you that have never used Python or have never installed Python in his PC. So don't worry about it. I will show you what, all what you need to install to do this project. It is very simple project and easy to do. You will see that we will do it step by step and you can, and all of you can do it even if you have never used Python. So the first thing that you have to do is to install Python. So we will go here in Python that this one python.org so here if you will go in python.org you will find this uh, page then you will go here in downloads and you will download but if you click here you will download the latest version of python so don't worry about any version if for example if you have already a version or uh, uh, for example 3.8 or 3.7 don't worry about it because uh, all the version that uh, will work for this project okay so here you have but if you don't have python so you need to install it and preferably you need to install the latest version maybe you will need it in other projects uh, in the future then after installing python you have to, you can install it in uh, like any environment uh, that you have installed before so don't worry about it it's very easy you have to, to download it then install it directly after that you will need to a text editor so in this project i will use uh, visual studio code but you can use any text editor you want for example there is pycharm visual code which is this one there is sublime text text sorry there is a lot of uh, text editors that you can use and every text editor will work in this project so don't worry about it in my case I am using Visual Studio but if you want to use another one so you can use it go ahead then after installing these two uh, which is the software and the Python environment you need some libraries to work this project so there is uh, actually there is four uh, important libraries but one of them is already installed with Python, which is Tkinter. This library, Tkinter, will help us to create our application or the face of our application. So we will need it, but for the moment we don't need to install it because it is already installed with Python. So you don't need to install it. But we will use three other libraries that are not installed with Python. So we need to install it, but it is very easy to do that. To do that. Don't worry about it. I am just showing you where, where, where you will find it. For example, if you, you need to use it and you need more uh, functionalities, so you will go here in this page, for example, and you will see how can you use it. But for the use that, we'll, uh, that we need in our project, I will tell you about and uh, I will show you how to install it. So don't worry about, about it. Then here the first one which is below this library will help us just to put an image on our application or something like that so this uh, library will uh, will help us to create the design of our application so it is the it hasn't it has no idea or no uh, relation with the the pdf or the book or something like this it will help us just to make the design of our application then we have this uh, library which is by pdf this library will help us to read the pdf and extract the text from that pdf so which means that we will take the text which is in the pdf or if in any page for example we select a page from the pdf and we will extract the text from that uh, page then we will put it in a string or something like that because if we want to read it or if we want to put this text as audio we need to put it in a variable which has text as a string so after taking the text from the pdf all what we need to do is to take it or to make it audio so this uh, library which is by tttsx3 this library will help us to read the text which means if we have a variable that has a string so this library will help us to put this string as a audio now 
as you can see we have we have to install the python environment then we have to install the uh, text editor then after doing this i will show you now how you can install these three libraries so we will go here for example on this here we have visual studio if you are you are using visual studio code so you will follow my steps but if you are doing you are using another uh, text editor so you have to to follow the steps for that uh, for that text editor but it changed just when you will create the project because after that after if you want to install any library the, they are all the same, have the same way so here i will click here in open folder i have to create a folder for example here i will give it a name for example audio book then here we have to create this folder then we will open it just like this now after opening the folder that we want to save our projects in we have to create just a file which is python file so here before writing anything i prefer to do this work we have to save it so you have to click uh, on command command s if you are using mac but if you are using uh, windows or linux so you have to click in control s then here you have to give it a name for example i will give it to uh, audio or something like this but you need to add the extension which is pi which means that this file is a python file okay because if you don't put that pi it won't recognize that this file is for python so you can't use it after so you have to give it a name audio.py okay don't worry if for example you 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 forget to put that pi so you have to go to the folder when you will save this file then you have to change just the name and you put it for example audio and you will add that pi which is the extension okay now i will click in here to save it now what we have to do we have just to create our project our program but before that i will show you just how you can create how you can install the libraries which are below and by pdf and this one so we'll create here we we need to open just one minute now what we have to do is just we have to execute here this program now after as you can see when you will execute uh, of if you are uh, you will run your program you will see this uh, window so now here we have the problem if you have problem you will see it in this window then here here we have the output debug but we don't need all these windows for our project for for the moment we need just the terminal terminal will use it for to install our libraries so as you know to install any library in python I, I, I will say 990 hundred of libraries because for, there is some libraries that changing that change for us uh, in some cases but for this project we will use this uh, command so to install any of these three libraries you have to write just pip install like this pip install but if it won't work for you pip install you have just to add here three pip three install but uh, I think that pip install work but in some cases if you have two versions of your of python in your pc for example python 3 and python 2 so it will give you a problem so in this case you have to write pip3 install then the name of the library so the first library that we need to install which is pillow as i told you so pillow you will see that it will write that requirement already satisfied because i have already installed it then you have to do the same thing for this one pip install and you write the name which is pdf uh, pi pdf 3 uh, 2 sorry then you have to write pi pdf uh, pi ttt sx3 we will do it here too so that you can see but i have already installed it so we have here you have to write pip install then the name which is pi pdf 2 like this then you have to click and you as you can see already installed then the same thing for the other one which is pip install then here you have to write pi ttt sx3 like this and you can see that that is already installed but i don't yes already installed as you can see uh, require require requirements sorry requirements already is satisfied so as you can see i don't need to install it because it is here so i will clear this one now as you can see here are all the 
tools that we need we need to install python then a text editor then all these uh, libraries because i shown you how you can do this in the next video we'll start doing our program so i see you there bye